Hey guys, welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about modern email templates from FCPX Full Access. So this is our newest pack and it's going to allow you to put these cool designer email templates into your films. They've got a really nice UI, a nice feel about them that feels really fresh and modern. So let's get straight into it. So when you install this pack as a generator, all you need to do is click here on the six squares in the top right, come over to the left and you'll see in your generators tab, which is just here if you click the T, you come down and we'll see modern email templates just here. Your pack then has four image based options and three text based options along with a few assets which are just going to help you put this into any project. So let's start with an image based email. If we double click on this, it's going to drop it straight into our timeline. Let's see how that looks straight out of the box. Great, so you can see it has this lovely pre-animated email construction and it has this lovely sort of blurred modern UI about it. So with our title selected, if we come over to the right hand side, we make sure we have these three slide icons clicked. This opens up our inspector. Then we come over to here, we make sure we have the generator inspector selected and you can see all of our editable parameters here. And it's this looks complicated at first, but it's very simple once you get into it, I promise. So first things first, let's make this look how we want it to look. So this template uses drop zones. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on the empty drop zone and this opens up a new box here. And this is basically asking us to select the image we want to put in our drop zone. So then I'm going to come to the top left, I'm going to click on the clapperboard that brings up our media inspector. And then I think I'm going to make something to do with skydiving here. So I'm going to pick this lovely clip that I've got here of this FPV clip. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click apply clip. So you can see straight away that's changed our background on the template and with our email you can see that we've got this lovely blur effect and one of our first parameters here on the right we can either choose the we can choose the email brightness so that gives it this darker or lighter feel quite like it around there and then we can also change our email blur so it can be more or less blurred I think the more you blur it the easier this becomes to read I think that blur effect gives it a really modern feel it makes it feel like a super nice clean AI something that Apple would do next we can choose our send icon color and this is the little uh, airplane here we have in the top right so we can choose anything there I'm gonna leave it as white though because I think that looks really nice with our color scheme if I drop down to avatar here, you can see we've got another drop zone and this is going to change the picture that we have for our person who is sending the email. So I click on the empty box and then I come over to the left hand side and I pick a new image. Now this can be a still image or a video. I'm going to pick this girl and then depending on whether you're using a vertical or a landscape clip for this, we've set it up so that it's ready for a portrait image. Uh, so still image most likely. So all you need to do is come down to here and change the Y pan so that we make sure that we're filling that circle entirely. If you want to change your scale, you just have the X scale and the Y scale here. My top tip here is to make sure that the percentages here are exactly the same. So if we wanted to make her a bit bigger, we would maybe put 125% in here and then 125% in the Y scale too. Now as we scroll down, we come down to email image and this is going to change the image that we're sending in the email. So again, super simple. I just click on the drop zone here. I come over to my media browser and I select the image I want to use. I'm going to use this skydiver who is falling through the sky. If we scroll down one more, we've then got the sender name. So I can change the name here. Let's call her Fiona Smith. Of course, we can change anything we want there. We've set it up really nice. This looks really lovely, but you could change any of the things you want about that. The font or the size or the tracking. I'll leave it how it is. The subject line is just this little bit here at the top. So I'm going to say, um, my first skydive. And then right at the bottom, we can choose whether or not we want this entire template to have a drop shadow or not. I think the drop shadow gives it a really nice definition from the background. So I'm going to leave it how it is and let's see how that looks now. That looks so awesome and literally took us 30 seconds to create. So now we're going to check out a text-based email. So if we come back up to the browser up here, down to full access, modern emails inside the generators, you see we've got email text-based. We have three options here. The main difference is basically the size and the scale of the box. So we've got something more of like a vertical setup for, the, for number two and a full screen option for number three. I'm going to check out number one here. I'm just going to drag it into my timeline. So let's just go through the same process again. I make sure I have the title selected on the bottom. I come up to my inspector on the right hand side and now I can go straight into changing the parameters. So I'm gonna come down and do my background first. 
click on the background, go back over to my media browser, and select a clip that I think is going to work. I'm going to choose this sunset, it looks really nice against the white text, and then I'm going to change my avatar, my sender name, and then I can change this text to anything I like. So, you know, let's create an email here where we're saying if we like the music that we sent this person the other day. And let's see how that looks. That looks so great, really professional, and truly anyone at any skill level with Final Cut could make this look amazing. It's all pre-animated, all you have to do is pick the images and write the text. This is a great storytelling device for films, and I'm so excited to see what you guys do with this one. I'll put the link down in the description, make sure you check it out, stay creative, and we'll see you in the next video.